modern bathtubs look nothing like tubs of the Middle Ages or those wooden tubs we see in Western films. To achieve supreme comfort, the designer explores new shapes via computer and design software, tools which make for speedy review of various shapes. Then a model is produced. This one, produced on a 1-6 scale, is made of cardboard, but other models can be made of clay, polystyrene, or by stereolithography. Manufacturing begins with an acrylic sheet. It is heated to about 200 degrees centigrade with ceramic elements. The sheet becomes soft and malleable. So that it takes the form of the mold, thousands of tiny holes in the shell suction the sheet by vacuum. The mold must cool before it can be opened. Powerful ventilators blow air directly onto the mold, lowering the temperature to 77 degrees in four to six minutes. The ventilators are then withdrawn. Then the shell is easily removed from the mold, and that's because it weighs a mere 16 kilos. To make a tub in another shape, they change the mold. They put it in another acrylic sheet. It is heated on the ceramic and fiberglass mold. The little holes vacuum out air, and the job is done. At any rate, the molded acrylic sheet is not sturdy enough to be filled with water so it must be reinforced with fiberglass. This is the fiberglass. Mixed with resin, it is blown onto the mold by robotic unit. Stored in reservoirs, the resin is carried to the robot by pumps. Here it produces a chemical reaction between the fiberglass and the resin, which produces a reinforced shell. Laminating is one of the most important steps. With brush and roller, they eliminate all air bubbles which could weaken the tub. This makes the fiberglass resin adhere perfectly to the acrylic shell. The process requires 75 minutes. The shell is then transported to the milling department. The shell is now dry and hard. They can extract it manually, but here they use digitally controlled machines. The operation begins with the trimming of the edges of the bathtub. During this operation, the robot will also pierce openings for the drains, the whirlpool jets and the air jets, for the overflow as well as for ambiance light. The bathtub, almost completed, is now sent to another workshop. They can now install the pump, the piping and the blower. These last operations are done manually. The pump is installed for the Whirlpool system as well as the PVC pipes, whose joints have been hermetically sealed to prevent any leaks. Finally, to make sure that everything is functioning well, each bathtub undergoes a water test. Some 13 steps have elapsed, plus three to five hours of work depending on the tub being made. It almost invites you to climb in.